Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to take a look at the rotary encoder for the steering on my car. So here's my test setup with a slotted disk and the photo interrupter diode. So the circuit is fairly simple. We've got the voltage source going through a little LED and a current limiting resistor. And on the other side, we've got the voltage source going through a light sensitive transistor, which switches on and off when it's exposed to light. And of course, light completes the circuit. So when you interrupt the beam, you get a digital signal to the Arduino. Using two of these photo interrupters, we can work out not just the speed that the disc is rotating, but also the direction. I tried several different methods of creating the slotted discs. The first one was by cutting slots into aluminium. I struggled with this method because the heat generated from the cutting kept making the glue fail. Eventually I had to put an ice block on the top to stop it from falling off. The next method that I tried was to punch the holes, and I had a lot more success doing this. It turned out that the round holes worked just fine. In the test you can see here, I've actually cut square holes with the scalpel just to see if that makes a difference. With the help of an Arduino Pro Mini and a little LCD screen, you can see that it works. Unfortunately, however, no matter how thin I made the light beams, or how precisely I cut the holes, I couldn't prevent it from skipping a count every so often. So unfortunately, after all of this, it's just not reliable enough to use on the car. So instead, I'll use a plain potentiometer. And you can see here that I've started building one onto the front of the car. There are still a few kinks to work out on this piece. Here's the car steering again with the new potentiometer and steering geometry. I hope you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll have more updates on this car coming up. And I'll see you next time.